Okay, and now we're on part three of our 10 GBE editing video here. Once again, if you haven't caught the other two parts, nice and simple, we are comparing editing on a 10 GBE NAS with localized editing. We're using the PowerDirector 12 software, and we're just seeing how it behaves when editing uh, over uh, to a 10 GB NAS. We're utilizing now the QNAP TS963X, and we're gonna be comparing that against our localized edit. That's using uh, an SSD in the host system and an archive hard drive that's got all the media there and showing how editing over 10 GBE is definitely an alternative. Because when it comes to editing on a 10 GBE NAS, it means it opens up um, very useful facilities such as distribution and sharing over your network while at the same time not having to keep all of the big big chunky files on your localized editing laptop or machine. So do check out parts one and two to learn more about the setup uh, utilizing a localized PC connecting directly over 10 GBE from a 10 GBE PCIe card into our 10 GBE now so we've got no switch this is directly point to point. So Let's get this started, and now we're looking at 10 GBE editing on a 963X, the 5 bay with four SSDs, it's got an AMD-based CPU, and eight gig of DDR4 memory. So as you can see, all of those files are inside our TS932X. We've created a network drive for those files to live on. Uh, so again, we've moved all of those files once again into B, that's our file, and it's in the folder test case that we keep moving from NAS to NAS each time we do this test. And we're going to be editing these once again as a 10 GBE file um, uh, at around 10 megabits per second bit rate. So it's got a heavy dense file there. It's going to weigh in at about a gig, 1.1 maybe. And once we get this up and running, we'll be able to see how this compares with the Netgear and the 932X that we used in our previous videos. Once again, this is 10 G base T editing. So, which basically you're not going to get any real uh, difference in terms of 10 GBE if you have either one of these. Um, outside of this for file editing, but what we want to find out is what happens in PowerDirector when we edit one of my old quickie um, edits that we had to do for the channel. So let's get this up and running. We're going to get this editing started. So once again, on the top right of the screen, we've got the task manager to tell us how exactly all of our different bits of hardware are behaving throughout this video. Um, again, one of the prescient things that's been coming up, kind of the long running themes of this so far, is one, the fact that for some reason, editing over 10 GBE lessens the impact on the GPU. It's something we've seen continuously during these tests. And once again, once this video gets up and running, when we get the clock speed, we like tune that up a dial, because at the moment we've got it in normal speed. We should speed it up any second now. There we are. We immediately see that one, uh, the GPU is still sitting around 35, very rarely breaking into the 40% margin like it was in a localized edit. We're seeing that Ethernet controller because that's where the 10 GBE is being handled. Lots of big uh, data being transferred there via uh, that 10 GB connection, all of the megabits per second compared with the kilobits per second that were being utilized in our local edit because obviously we weren't using the Ethernet. And once again, we can see that drives C and D are not being used with around five gig of memory and the CPU being used to, um, uh, basically it's full potential being dedicated to this software. Don't try and open up your browser during this because it is a waste of time. So again, very impressed with 10 GB editing so far. Uh, personally, it's not something I've been experimenting with directly that much, but I think I am gonna change my entire setup over to a 10 GB editing solution. Uh, just because at the moment, with these enormous files that I'm creating and the ability to distribute them to other people in um, my span on NAS Compares network, as well as distributing and uploading them to YouTube, there's a huge number of reasons why editing over 10 GBE and distributing with the NAS and replacing my existing workflow with this would be hugely advantageous. But straight away, as you can see, 33 minutes, just like the other ones. So again, editing over 10 GBE is just as good as editing locally. Now, we will be doing tests with more sophisticated programs than PowerDirector. For those that are gonna put that in the comments, don't you worry. But it's just PowerDirector has a huge following for the quick and easy community. And for people that want quick and easy distribution, I can definitely see an advantage in this. And unless you're gonna be editing enormous 4K files, I think um, standard 10 GBE direct NAS editing and distribution is gonna be very useful. Now, 
all of the 10 GBU NASs that we've talked about in these series of videos all retail for between three and four hundred and fifty pounds without the hard drives and the fact that as soon as you don't need to have a 10 GBE switch because all of them have both 10 GBE and 1 GBE means it does make them very affordable and very useful replacements in your workflow again we will be doing tests with one of these NASs with um, speed tests over 10 GBE utilizing RAID and how it compares with localized file transfers and black magic and I look forward to showing you that but otherwise I thank you I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time